today we're going old school. We're fishing in the old river. I got a hog leg series rod with 50 pound braid and 20 pound mono. And then I got the new Soul Shrimper series. We just caught the first big fish on the Soul Shrimper series. It performed excellent. I got 30 pound braid with 15 pound mono. And we're running that dog today with all new Lunker Dog series rods. Run that dog. That's it. All right. We did have a little bit of action. I had a fish actually come up behind my bait and swirl on it twice. It's pretty good considering how poor the fishing's been up in this river. I think we're gonna have to scratch the river all together. Find some new spots, some new places. The damn shame what these water taxis did to this place. This place used to be slap full of tarpon, slap full of jackerbells, big snooks, all sorts of good stuff up in this river. Now, skashata, nothing. Nothing. I've been trolling out here for freaking three days with Mike Wallace. A couple little baby tarpons, a couple of jacks. That's all we could do to get those. Fort Lauderdale's dried up. Totally dried up out here. See, we're back in these old school area. We're back in the new river. This place used to be slap full of fish. Tarpon we didn't even go after because they would kill our snook baits. There was more snook back here than you could pull in. Jacks, big cooters. Heck, you know how many millions of views you guys have seen us on YouTube catching lunkers in here? Well, there's nothing left in here anymore. It's totally dried up. The water taxis have totally ruined the place. Maybe if we put up one more skyscraper, maybe the fish will come back, but I'm not counting on it. So I'm just out here in my own misery. Never mind you spot stealers that crept all up on this spot for the last decade or so. <laughs> it's everybody else's fault but mine. Don't you realize that? Don't you realize that? I'm just out here trying to get by, trying to make a living. You have to fish with style. That's why I broke out the old Grundens. That's why I'm chilling with my new, my new rods, custom rods by Sean Fairbanks. I'm hanging out with my dog, Mike Wallace. You know he's the go-to digital guy. And even my YouTube producer is here today. And we're celebrating another year of sporting these Grundens. <laughs> what? And if fishing gets any slower, I'm going to start with the boat identification. Oh, let's not start with that. Hours, <laughs> hours and hours of boat identification. Mike, Mike Wallace loves oh, it. It's the best. <laughs> There's a pretty good chance that's not going to be a tackle shop. Class. Run that dog on them, guys! <laughs> Those are all my peeps. Just hard-working dudes up there, doing real things. You guys get any bites? See any fish? Nothing? Guy's got all those fancy electronics, won't even give me a little bit of information. All I want is just a little information. Is the guy or is the guy not marking any fish? And he looks at me like I'm an idiot. That's mega yacht trash right there. Y'all can count your blessings that fishing's so slow, can you hear me babble like this? The slower the fishing gets, the worse it gets out here. The babbling starts, the goofiness. We're fighting with the water taxis. All the Yankees are filling in real strong. A lot of Yankees are walking around right now. What's up, pal? Guys are just trying to get by out here. They're trying to make a living on this river. <laughs> the river's totally dried up, so we're gonna move locations. We're gonna try to find something. Maybe bull shark. This it is 
time of year for bull shark. I haven't seen any yet, but maybe we'll go look in. I got some bull shark spots up here. And the uh, river's totally dried up. Totally dried up. I don't even know why I tried it. Dude, there's one spot in all of Broward County that holds a few fish. And there's a 120 footer sitting on it, an 80 footer sitting on it, two tugs, a damn traffic jam right on top of the only spot where there's been a fish in this county for decades. They wonder what's wrong with this place. The dude's backing up on the snook spot. He's doing three sit. He just bow thrustered the snook spot. Only in Fort Lauderdale do snook spots get bow thrustered. Only in Fort Lauderdale. This place is ridiculous. Why don't you bow thruster a taxi, loser? By getting bow thrustered on by a 120 footer, the biggest water taxi in town decides to roll by. And of course, he's going idle speed like they always do, always following the law of the water taxis. They're ruining this joint. This used to be called Tarpon Bend because there was tarpon in here. What do you call it now? They just call it the Bend. <laughs> Taxi Bend. Ruin the whole place. Yep. Used to be fishing here before the taxi. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody listens to the message. Nobody even cares. They just laughed at me. He's getting a blast. He's getting blasted. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah. Yeah. Driving back. Dude, will you take a look at what's going on over here? The guy's just sitting there on the spot. Back and forth. Bow thrustering. No respect whatsoever. You would think after all these years, these mega yacht captains would give me just a little bit of respect. Nothing. They just come right up to my spots, they bow thrust to the piss out of them. Like it's a normal thing. I'm out here trying to get by. I got Wallace. I want him to catch a decent fish on the new soul shrimp or rod. And you see what I got to deal with. You see what I have to deal with. All right, dudes, we're fishing with a hog leg. That's a five lot owner circle hook. Chunk him out there. I got bull buster, 50 pound braid. Okay, this is a Shimano Spheros 6000. On the big hog leg rod. This is for catching big fish. This is where you gotta pull a big snook out of some structure. This is the hog leg series rod. And I'm looking for a big snook with this thing. We're in the new river. I'm getting bow thrustered off my spot right now. But you just gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. I got Mike Wallace in the back. Mike sporting the new Soul Shrimper rod. He also has a Shimano, but his is a 6,000 bait runner. Now his spooled up a 30 pound test. It's a medium action rod. It's more diverse than the hog leg rod. The hog leg rod's straight for big lunkers. That rod there, you can catch smaller fish on and the bigger fish. That big 80 pound tarpon I caught the other day was the first big tarpon we caught on the Soul Shrimper Rod and uh, performed just 
just great. And that's what we're doing today. We're trying to get a big fish. We're trying to work against the elements. We got rain, coal fronts, mega yachts, taxis, wrong tide. Bait was easy. Thank God for that. Take it where you can get it. Run that dog with Captain Jeff. Do you think I'm kidding? Will you look at this mess? Will you look what's going on behind me? We're not even time lapsing this. This is all happening right now. In the last five minutes, we've had freaking, I don't know, 200 tons of boats move through this corner. Wow, it's just got a nice strike. He's coming at you. Dude, it's like I gotta come down this little side creek just to get away from that mess. I mean, even if you were just out here drinking beers, that would totally harsh your tooth. I mean, think about that. There's enough diesel sitting in that river right now. I had to get away from it. I was freaking starting to gag a little bit. Wonder why this river ain't crystal clear no more. Oh. We're high intensity fishing right now. The alcohol is no good for that. That's like brim fishing, you know? Drawing for trouts and reds and them. Trouts, reds and them. You're bow thrustering the piss out of this joint. I said you were bow thrustering the piss out of this joint. You want to hear it? You should see my bow thruster. <laughs> Looks good. Looks like there'd be a fish in there. Nice Osprey. season rather than start a whole new no need to go through that disappointment all over again well Drew wants 600 to do the sheep's head trip now and I'm only I'm only willing to pay 450 I'd pay five I'd pay 500 if he got like extra live sampling 
But I'm not paying. Six hundred is me guaranteeing a cheap head? No. No. Then I come around to the other corner of the river. And I'm just trying to find a decent fish. And the kids from the yacht club are over here. Any of you guys fishing? Just sailing. Just sailing. Do they have fishing courses? I don't know. Nice save. That's just something else that we're dealing with out here. I kind of like those kids though out there on the skiffs. The jungle queen was here before us. She gets a hall pass. Everybody else sucks. All right, the kids are cool. Jungle queen is cool. The rest of them, they all suck. And if they don't think they suck, will you take a good look at what's going on out here? I got hog leg, I got finger mullet, and I got medium sized mullet, and I can't even get a jack to eat one. All because of the water taxis. I'm just trying to get by. And you see what I gotta deal with on a daily basis. You see what I gotta do. That's why I'm pro. Because I deal with all this stuff. I go to bed, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna get a fish out here. It's like playing the masters, dude but it's Fort Lauderdale. Just trying to get by. All right, I'm gonna try a medium-sized mullet. I'm gonna try a medium-sized mullet. All right, I'm gonna level with you guys. This isn't even my spot right here. I got this spot from Croca. Croca used to anchor up on this corner. He'd sit here on the incoming tide and wait for the schools of tarpon to swim in. That was 20 years ago, dude. Maybe 25. But I'm still fishing the spot because I got no choice. I've been bullied off the other spots by the water taxis, tugboats, mega yachts, pelicans. Even the urban ospreys are against me. Did you know that the urban ospreys have actually turned off a fish and actually go after like chickens, ferrets, small rats now, like a real eagle? That's because there's no fish in Fort Lauderdale, but there's still ospreys. You see what I got to deal with.
struggling. He can't get his front end around in the wind. Now watch, he's gonna come hard, hard left and try to swing it around. If he comes around hard, his ass in will go into that big boat. <laughs> Fifteen hundred, I'll do that for you, pal. You hear that growling in the background? That's getting bow thrustered. That's the third consecutive spot we've been getting bow thrustered on. You all folks think you know something about mega yacht traffic? I know about mega yacht traffic. You see what I got to deal with out here. For 1500 I'd have taken that mega yacht through the bridge for him. He wouldn't even have to struggle, but no. He's up there. He's sweating bullets. Listen to him. You hear that? That's bow thruster. He's bow thrustering the piss out of this place. say nothing all right you see that Palmer Johnson right there it's missing the O in Johnson that's white trash mega yacht right there I mean I was always brought up you know thinking that you know maybe one day I might get a Palmer Johnson but if I did get a Palmer Johnson it damn sure have the O in Johnson I was here before the mega yachts dudes the guy's sporting a Palmer Johnson without the O in the Johnson. Only in Fort Lauderdale. Only I gotta deal with this. That's true. It's all true. Guy's gonna be up there, he'll be chilling in Cafe 66 tonight. He'll be thinking he's like, you know, gonna get lucky or something, and then he's gonna drop the bomb on him. Dude, there's no O in the Johnson. How would you like to be sitting up there at that bar having a drink and then somebody blindsiding you with that? That's mega yacht drama, that's mega yacht problem. All the guys parked down at Sunrise Harbor are bullying the piss out of the people at BMR. And the people of Bahia Mar won't even talk to the people that are docking their dock, their mega yachts here up by Pier 66. It's hard to follow, but when you live downtown here, you pay attention to these things. That's the bridge tender. He's trying to kick me out of fishing here. But he can't do that because I'm not in the channel. But it's kind of cool when the bridge tender talks to you because it's kind of like being in like a big football stadium and the guy's talking to you over the big PA. Only in Fort Lauderdale, dude.
you see what I have to deal with. The water taxi is by far, without a doubt, hands down, the worst thing that's ever happened to the Intercoastal down here in Broward County. Did you see the fools that were loading on that thing? No clue. They want to shut the beach fishing down in this town and nobody's complaining about those well, I'm complaining. I'm letting everybody know the water taxi is no good for nobody. There's that many people that want to get out on the waterway here in Fort Lauderdale. Book a fishing trip for crying out loud. Show some class. You guys ride around here like it's friggin' Disney World. Does this look like a theme park to you people? You guys think I'm flipping out? You try coming out here and fishing for 10 hours without getting a strike with perfect hog leg. It'll do it to a guy. This is that area that just got bow thrustered. Right there, right behind us. There's a T-topper right there. Bet he ain't got a fishing rod on that whole boat. I told you, that big Miggy yacht that was bow thrustering the piss out of things, I told that guy, 1500, I'd take it for him. Look at him now, stuck up there on the sandbar. Guy's got a $150 million mega yacht stuck on the old Raccoon Island. Ha! You see that, right? That's right where I was gonna fish. Homeboy's getting stuck in the mud right on my spot. Every time, all day long, it's a nice, swift kick in the balls. See what I gotta put up with. They're bringing that big son bitch down my river. You wonder why there's no more fish in this joint. That's non stop, that's seven days a week, rain or shine. Sun up to sundown, and even later. Water taxis are racing around guys like that. Haven't seen a manatee in here yet this year. Probably all dead. Bull sharks, nothing. Jacks, nothing. Snooks. Late at night. A couple small tarpon. And a bunch of mega yacht junkies. I got mega yacht issues, people. I got more issues than that, but right now I got mega, mega yacht issues. Not everybody has mega yacht issues. It's not a normal issue to have, but I got them. You haven't noticed. It's not like. I mean, I can take getting bow thrustered in my face a few times every trip. But all trip long? They follow you. Bow thrustering the whole way. The guy done broke his bow thruster on the sandbar, so now he got the towboat. Dude, your microphone's getting braided.
So we finally got through this year's 2015 mullet run. It was a heck of a mullet run. I mean, we did some neat stuff. A lot of bait piled through, more bait than I've seen in years. We did not catch a lot of big lunkers during the mullet run. We got a few fish, but we had some major highlights. I got to fish with Andy Mill again. It always freaks me out when I get to fish with Andy. The guy's a tarpon legend. We were able to take him out for happy bait. Peter Miller came down, got into a little happy bait with him in uh, Figueroa there. Also, guys from Salt Strong enjoyed a little bit of happy bait. I saw that. And uh, that was a half a strike. But I want to congratulate Christian from Team Guggen. He won the 2015 Happy Bait Award. Heck of a video, a lot of nice fish in there. I thought it was going to be a great Happy Bait. I mean, I started off, I banged out two nice fish right on the beach the first day. I was all fired up. And then I watched the thousands and thousands and thousands of fish swim by the coast, and we weren't able to get them this year that good. I want to thank everybody for participating, paying attention to Happy Bait, hanging out with Captain Jeff, checking out all the videos. Mike Wallace, serious happy baiter, is with me today. You know I only hang out with real guys. You know, we, we had a crazy, crazy busy September and October during the mullet run. A lot of clients came in. They caught some nice fish. Most of the guys went home pretty happy. We got into the snooks for a while. It was pretty intense. We're talking like 20 plus pound snooks, one right after another for about two weeks there. And uh, a lot of small tarpon this year. A lot of fun, a lot of great folks. Come down to Fort Lauderdale, enjoy happy bait with Captain Jeff. Couldn't be much prouder, couldn't be much happier. Run that dog.